Michael Brooks uh, describing love in politics, how you're doing it. Cornell West has a great uh, quote on this as well. Um, I think he says, justice yeah, is what love right. looks like Only in public. You can make it all right. Michael Brooks, rest in power. Yesterday was his uh, second uh, anniversary. Second, right? It's been not one year, but two years at this point. He uh, passed away. Yeah, First holy time, shit, yeah. time we'll fucking flies, dude. Camper. It's crazy. Let's hear what he had to say. Love without power is sentimental and anemic, yep. and power without love is Poggy's still here. abusive and corrosive. I'm paraphrasing. Yep. And that was when I saw it, I thought, well, here, okay, we know the left-wing Dr. King. Well, here's the Machiavellian Dr. King, and I love it. I want the left to have Machiavelli so that we can have the strategy, the ruthlessness, the clarity to actually win these battles and be ruthless with institutions. And then I want us to learn how to be really kind to each other, welcoming of a broad set, and actually have a movement that has the capacity to do that. That's why the cancel stuff is relevant that Katie brought up, because it's a stand-in for this eliminationism of other humans, which is neoliberalism enacted. And it's also a contradiction from when we get utopian. It's beautiful. We're, we're the people who sit around and we say, why don't we have a world where there's no prisons? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a radical fucking statement. That's a real thing, and we should take it seriously. But then, on the other hand, oh, well, these people could never be part of our coalition because they made a mistake or said something. Like, it's a contradiction in what we're enacting. So. What I get that I hope is in the realm of answering your question from this Dr. King clip was left wing, spiritual, but also with a vision of power. And if we can synthesize those things, I think we will speak to the highest impulses of this country. We will be welcoming to people and we will to win. Yours. Please check out the new videos from yeah. Pamela and Final Fantasy 7. Be kind to individuals, but be ruthless to systems is something that I also firmly believe in, uh, just like Michael Brooks did. Um, he, was a, he was a great dude. Michael was the GOAT. I feel like you're the only person carrying on the project of making life of politics attractive, interesting, and funny. Yeah, I mean, he was a, he was a good friend and uh, a, a terrible loss, but, you know, uh, we carry on his legacy. Some of you probably remember him from the Majority Report. Some of you probably watched the Michael Brooks show. What's your favorite memory of Michael? I mean, my favorite memory of Michael was really stupid, but when I went on his show, he had like uh, this super serious like political activist PhD guy that he was going to interview about like, uh, I forget which country's politics that he was doing. He's, he was always like left us with an internationalist perspective. But uh, one of the first things I, uh, I asked him, and here it is. Here's Remember the Remember that time you asked him about dry jacking? Yeah, I do. Excuse I went on a show. Easy I, I still have him blocked, by the way. I still have Sahil blocked. Something that has been making the rounds on the left. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, a ferocious debate. And it is about, I don't know if I should do this, but fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway. Are you, do you, are you familiar with the concept of dry oh, jacking? Of brain rot. Thank you, Hassan, for everything this is, you Well, do, this Hassan. is a really interesting direction for this show, Hassan. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm guessing you are. Never mind. Let's not do it then. Never mind. It's not. It, it's just something that everyone wants. This is something that I ask people now, but we're not going to get into ask it. Ask me Whatever. on your You know what? You know what? You know what, Hassan? <laughs> ask me when I'm on your show. I okay, will, we'll do I, that. We'll I do will that. get into the details of dry because you know what the real I'm thing is, sorry. man, is that after you, it, it's not just that it's my show. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst daily, part. Which is of course a big Asshole. deal, <laughs> but it's also that you know. Do you know who Milton Alamadi is? I do not. He's like a mentor of mine. He's a fucking genius, and he he just like he just like classes up the whole place. So to me, it's yeah, like, I already flexes, feel flexes, 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 bad flexes, enough flexes. that we're going to make fun of Dave Rubin before. He, Milton Alamadi, for those of you who don't know, is a Ugandan-American author, journalist, professor, and co-founder of Black Star News. Um, he's known for his critique of racist writing by white authors about Africa and Africans. Uh, he wrote a book Five in 2003 boys. called Love The Hearts of Jack. Darkness and in 2021 called Manufacturing Hate. Or he comes on to talk about like Thomas Sankara. I can't, I can't be talking about dry jacking 20 minutes 
for 30 minutes before Milton Alamati's on. I can't do it. It's I'm not so right. sorry. I know, I know. I shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> you know, you know what? You, you are the opposite of him in terms of class. Yes. I mean, he does like funny bits too. Don't get me wrong. You know what you will like though, Hassan? I will. I'll tell you this story. This is this is the, this is the Milton Alamati story. I'll tell you. Please. Nelson Mandela and to Gabra, I sent a DM yes. to Milton Alamati, Dave Rubin, or these guys at the California Democratic Convention. Um, I'll do either. It's your show, and I've already <laughs> I've already disrespected the boundaries uh, <laughs> by memeing too close, entirely too close to the sun. So let's uh, let's do whatever you want to do. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Uh, and again, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. I, but, but I will, but I will ask you in private what the answer to that question is, or when you come back on the show, if you ever want to. You have to. <laughs> you literally are going to have to explain what that means to me, though. Like not right now. It, but, okay, but never I'm, mind. Not, I'm not playing <laughs> dumb with you. I was about to. Too. I was like, no. I don't know what it means. Uh, yeah. Can you follow up by doing this exact same bit with Sam Cedar? Did I do this with Sam Cedar too? Probably. I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. What's wrong with me? That's that's uh that's Michael Brooks, baby. A legend. Um, once again, be kind to individuals and be ruthless to institutions does not mean allow fucking people to run their mouths and like attack people in this community. Um I hope you understand that. Rot. There's Stomach a difference between the uh, be kind to individuals and be ruthless to institutions in the uh, well like when I shit on someone and I ban them or I call them a fucking scumbag, scum fucker, you know, worthless vermin, whatever piece of trash after they're being transphobic, homophobic, bigoted in any capacity, months with I still sample. want them to get health care. I want them to get adequate health care. I want them to live a life of meaning. I want them to be able to find fulfillment in the same way that I have been able to find fulfillment in mine. I think every human being deserves that. As a matter of fact, I firmly believe that if you have those amenities, if you have those human rights, you would be less likely to behave in a irrational, deranged, psychotic manner, right? So it's, a, it's an incredibly chat-brained way to approach this, like saying, oh, you claim to believe in rehabilitation over incarceration, and yet here you are, perma-banning chatters, like, dog, this is Twitch. I'm a communicator. I'm an agitator. My goal is to provide edutainment, right? Educational entertainment. And if you're derailing the broadcast, I'm going to fucking move on in the way that I want to move on. Um, it's not the same as, uh, you know, my, my opinions on structural hurdles and, and systemic change. You're not getting punished. You're not having your human rights be removed from you. I know that... If you live your entire life on Twitch, then it might feel like you are having your human rights robbed away from you, but uh, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. You're just being put in timeout. You're being a bad boy, and now you're grounded. Do you understand? A beautiful brain rot is born after nine months. So, there you go.